Here we have a black magic cinema camera 6k that came in for repair customer mailed over the motherboard and he requested expedited service let's read what the customer wrote camera was dropped and all of the ports bent all work but the usb-c port i purchased a replacement port and included it in the package attempted to fix myself and took off a capacitor or something that sits directly under the port great so prior repair attempt and a lost component the customer did include the port right here but we want to take a look at the damage well the good thing is i do not see any ripped traces and where is that capacitor the customer is talking about flip the board oh yeah i see it right there that's a data line capacitor probably 100 nanofarads anything else missing I do see flux but I do not think anything else was tampered with on that board Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. I mean, this is not a job for a beginner or a person who watched some YouTube videos. This is very precise work and it takes a lot of practice. Good equipment, a good camera, good microscope, the right tools, good flux, and a lot of practice. Now, if you notice in the description, the customer wrote all work, but the USB-C port. He's trying to emphasize or he's trying to let you know that the board is working, all working, everything. We do not know that. We are working on this board without knowing the condition of the board. We do not know if that board works or not. The customer may be honest. He may be truthful, but not everybody is the same. That's why we have this covered in our terms. You may send a working board after we work on it, that board may stop working. It's part of the risk. If you accept the risks, mail your stuff over. If you don't accept the risk, then do not mail it over. So we tell the customer, even if that board is working, there are risks involved. Anytime you work on a motherboard, you are working on microscopic components, anything can happen. It's part of the risk. That's why we never have issues with customers. Throughout the years, we kept modifying our terms, modifying our terms, closing loopholes where customers can cheat you or customers can blame you for something. And we got up to a point where all loopholes are closed. Unless somebody smart comes out with another way to scam you, then we will add that to our terms. So the front pins and through hole pins. No problem. And look at the glare. We can barely see a thing. And that's why I always mention, you have to have the right tools if you wanna do a good job. Let's turn the empty glare light on and look at this. Look at how nice and clear the image is. I always mention it, empty glare light. All the tools that we use on our bench are sold on our site. Just a second. Just a second. Questions? All right, all right. Laptop? Uh, here, here. Zenbook? Yeah. All right. Let me see. 
opened it up for a routine cleaning, put it back together and... It stopped working? Yeah, man. All right, all right. Let me tell you how much it will cost. Yeah. How are you? That would be better if I had the sucker working. I thought, <laughs> okay. I learned a lot from you, man. How long have you been watching? Uh, a little background on this. The, I, I've taken it in. You, I think you exchanged, uh, he exchanged an email with you, the guy from Media Vision. Uh, Media Vision? Who's Media Vision? This guy in Orange County. Yeah, he probably communicated with Dolly. She's the one that handles yeah. the emails, messages. He, he did replace something on there. Like, a, I think it was a buck controller, buck converter or something. And oh, boy. He okay. He got power on the rails, but still no... Okay. All right. I'll, I'll check and see what's um, going on. Yeah. $295 if we can fix it, or $95 for the bench fee if we cannot fix it. Okay. And the chances are 50-50. I think you can do it, man. What's your first and last name? Alexander. Hot milk, yeah, got I'm it. Old, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had the Juno email. If you know Juno, yeah. it was popular back in the yeah. 90s. Yeah. Right, so the connector is soldered. We just want to check on the pins and we're going to solder the back. Okay, so we're going to check on the pins. And look at this, every single one is solid. We do not need to do anything here. We're going to flip the board. And we're going to go over the pins in the back. We can see every single pin. Okay, let me zoom in. I mean, I cannot tell you how small, how tiny those holes are. Okay, so we have pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pins. Let's apply flux and go over them one by one. So it looks like one pin was pushed out. It was still left in the holes. When we put the connector, it pushed it out. I thought I got rid of all of them, but no. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let me just saturate the pins and then we can clean them.
All right, so those connectors are intact. We had to cover them just in case. Flip the board. One final cleanup right here. Whatever tools we are using for this repair, you can purchase directly off our site. Microscopes are on back order. We have a shipment coming in probably end of June. First, I thought that we may get the shipment beginning of June, but it won't be until probably end of June. We kept prices the same, even with the tariffs. If you back order now, you can still get the same price. As soon as we get the microscopes in, then we're gonna add the tariffs. I just wanna give an incentive for anyone who wanna back order now. You still get it at the old price. One of the best microscopes in the market. You can tell from the quality of our videos. And of course, this is the anti-glare light. Without the anti-glare light, then we have this. Ring light is useful if you want to see shadows. If you have, let's say, a tall component and it's casting a shadow. Let me see if I can give you an example. Because a lot of times customers or viewers ask me, if the anti-glare light is so good, why not use the anti-glare light all the time? Why use the ring light? Because the ring light, since it's pointing light from the top, it can make the shadows lit. Whereas the anti-glare light, it cannot do that. You see, if we have the anti-glare light here, you see how the chip, we may have shadow on the side of the chip. With the ring light, we can actually get rid of that shadow. So both of them are important. Anti-glare light, if you want to get rid of the glare, and ring light, if you want to get rid of the shadows. You use a combination to get the best possible image that you see on the screen. And you have to remember that image is nothing but a light. A good light means a good image. A lot of items are currently out of stock, but they are on the way. Right now, the only two that you can back order is the microscope and the 96 LED ring light. Those you can back order. Anti-glare light, we do have it in stock. Soldering station, we do have it in stock. Hot air station, I think we still have few left. Thermal cameras, everywhere they increase the price, but we still have the same price. On the next shipment, prices will increase. Unless the U.S. makes a deal with China and they remove the tariffs, then it's a different story. Right, so let me show you what I did. That's the port right here. And that's the back. Right here. Tiny stuff. All right, we are done. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.